Hello and welcome to another Ignite Purpose Weekly Devotional. I hope that these devotionals are truly igniting purpose in you to live, love, and lead like Jesus. This week, we're going to talk about choosing not to be offended. For weeks now, I've been talking about choosing to ask more questions, to learn more about people that you associate with, and to judge less. And part of the judgment that we put on others is completely out of the offense that we feel. Many of us, me included, are insecure and have a lot of baggage, a lot of history, and uh, sadly, the enemy uses that to talk in our ear and to make us think that we're not worthy. But in fact, because we're children of God, we are chosen to be worthy, to be everything that Jesus died for us on the cross to be. So with that, we have to choose to love and to not be offended. I recently read a book by Brant Hansen that I highly recommend. In fact, I highly recommend that you listen to this book on Audible because Brant Hansen is a Christian radio host and he has done several books. The first I read or listened to was called Blessed Are the Misfits, which really changed my perspective on how people come to Jesus. And this book, which really was written before Blessed Are the Misfits, is called Unoffendable. And it's brilliantly written, brilliantly narrated, and I highly recommend it. But he talks about how our righteous anger is simply a myth. In fact, it's really what keeps us away from spreading the love of Jesus because we get so wrapped up in our righteousness and thinking we're right and the judgment I've been talking about so much that we forget to love like Jesus. Righteous anger, what's that? That's a myth. There's nothing righteous about anger. I'm going to talk for weeks, I think, about anger because I've been bottled up with anger and frustration and judgment that I've talked about forever. And if I can release that, anybody can release it. So get ready to be unoffendable, release the anger and frustration in your life, and start to show the love that Jesus wants you to show. Have a great week.